Assalamu alaikum. This video is about binomial theorem. At the end of the video, I share an information relating to binomial theorem. So please stick to the video till the end. Welcome to my channel. I am Amar. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe it and click the bell icon so you get the notification of upcoming videos. Let's start the video. Now I show the list of points which I discuss throughout the video. First we learn meaning of word binomial, then we expand few algebraic terms and try to gather information from them. Next we find relation between binomial coefficient and Pascal triangle and then I conclude my discussion. So after layout of discussion we move towards the first point that is learning the meaning of word binomial. The word binomial has two parts by and nomial by mean two and nomial mean terms so in mathematics binomial means algebraic expression of the sum of two terms expanding algebraic expression of two terms for the exponent 1 2 3 and 4 for exponent 1 x plus y or 1 is equal to x plus y it is simple for exponent 2, x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. For 3x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. For exponent 4, x plus y power 4 is equal to x power 4 plus 4x cube y plus 6x square y square plus 4xy cube plus y power 4. We have all the expressions for uh, a 1, 2, 3 and 4 in one picture. There are several patterns that can be observed from these examples. The exponents of uh, x start at n and decrease by 1 until they reach 0. Secondly, the exponents of y starts at 0 and increase by 1 until they reach n. The binomial coefficients are used to form the rows of Pascal triangle. Sum of coefficient is equal to 2n. Uh, you can verify these, uh, this uh, pattern by taking x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 for any, uh, for any exponent. Left hand side you get 2 power n and on right side you get the same answer. If, we if you take n is equal to 2, it means uh, on the left hand side you have 4 and uh, on right hand side if you add all the coefficients you also get uh, Four. So you can verify for any exponent. Another one is there are n plus one term in any expansion. It means that if exponent is one, there are two terms on right hand side. If exponent is two, there are three terms on the right hand side. And the same process will continue for any uh, exponent. After this observation, we now discuss relation between binomial coefficient and Pascal triangle. Binomial coefficients are shown red in different expression. Uh, let's try to pick any pattern whether exist uh, between these uh, coefficients. This is a Pascal triangle with six rows and the binomial coefficients are used to form these uh, rows. Uh, add 1, add these two 1 to get 2, add 1 and this 2 get to 3, two, 2 plus 1 you get 3, 1 plus 3 we get 4, 3 plus 3 we get 6, 3 plus 1 4, 1 plus 4 5, 4 plus 6 10, 6 plus 4 10, 4 plus 1 5. On the edges we always have 1 and if we want to row 7 you add 1 plus 5 you get 6, 5 plus 10 in 15, 10 plus 10 20, 10 plus 5 15 and 5 plus 1 6. So you get the 7th uh, row. In 
general the algebraic expression of x plus y power n we have this form which is a binomial theorem include that binomial theorem is a generalization of expression like these Always remember these three words, learn, apply and share. Like this video and comment. Thanks for watching.